Hey, what's up everybody? So, you want to learn Modeler and you don't want to go through all of the buttons and all of the function because there's a lot of stuff and you just want to get started and make some cool stuff as fast as possible, right? Well, this is the video for you. So I'm gonna go over only the bare minimum that you need to be able to use to be able to make cool stuff. And basically there's drawing, right? And then moving. And with the drawing, you have your your clay brush, right? That brush allows you to draw stuff. It also allows you to erase stuff, right? Or you're moving, well, you got your selection tool that allows you to move something. And you also got your warp tool that allows you to stretch your object and the format right. you can make all types of crazy stuff with this but basically with only these two tools you're able to make practically anything you want like you can change the shape of your brush and you know use it as a cylinder instead of a cube but the principle is the same you got your brush that you can draw that's your eraser carve away at stuff and then you can move these parts independently or together or deform them however you like that's really all you need to learn and after that you know, you can get more invested with all the different settings and buttons you can press and you can, you know, experiment as you want. But this is super, super basic tools and you're able to do anything you can think of, really. It's just being able to, you know, visualize it and express it. With your trigger finger and your right controller, you can apply clay, right? You just draw stuff with your brush. If I press the A button on my controller, I can swap between the brush and the eraser. And then carve away at whatever I'm trying to make, right? To move around, um, it's the grip buttons on the controllers, and to scale, it's just both grips, and then just scale it, right? Grab it, and then extend it. Um, if I want to select a piece, I use the B button. When nothing is selected, there's going to be a little arrow, like this, and then with my trigger finger, I can move that part anywhere I want, and then just press A again, to, uh, B to deselect it. I press A, can delete the piece. And I can always make a, just a new layer if I press the X button. Yeah, X button on my left hand. Can make a new layer. And then start assembling those layers. However I want. Right? In my clay menu, I have this symmetry thing right here. I can turn on and then start to draw symmetrical. It's pretty useful and then I can turn it on and off whenever I need. So let's say I make a new layer. This layer is it isn't symmetrical. But this layer is. Right? Can go back and forth. And then on the same symmetry thing, there's a repetition, which I can just flip my piece on the other side right. copying and moving so you got your brush that you can draw stuff with right you got your eraser and then you have your warp tool and the move tool the warp tool it allows you to deform certain object right 
so I can use uh, different shapes of warp, but I like the cube one and all the settings, you can play around with that, but it allows you to stretch stuff and then deform it. Whenever I grab something, pull it, stretch it, do all kinds of shit. And then the selection tool allows you to swap in between the part with the uh, the B button. You can s grab this one, and then grab this one, right? move them. Uh, I can delete them if I grabbed it with the A button. And then there's a bunch of settings in there, like the hardness and the strength and all that stuff. Uh, I can play around with the, the shape of this. And also, if I press the A button, I can swap in between the elastic and just normal uh, warp so elastic just deforms uh, very cool shapes you know it's very flowy and for organic sculpting it's super fun so play around with that you're gonna have a lot of fun and then you know this the straight uh sharp like this you change the shape of your uh your brush too if I press both triggers at the same time, I can start duplicating stuff. If I press the left one first, um, I can drag it right? somewhere. And if I press the right one first, I can uh, stamp it. So if I press left, you know, every time I press it, it's gonna stamp it. You can do all kind, all types of cool stuff where you duplicate it, right? And then with your left thumbstick. You can multiply or array the uh, number of times you repeat something. And then with the selection, if I hold the B button, I can select stuff really quick, right? right. And delete a bunch of them. Another setting I recommend turning on right away is the steady stroke. Um, without it, your hand is going to be very jittery. But with it, it's going to be much smoother and you're going to be able to make cool, flowy, controlled shapes. Right. Or, you know, it can be jittery too if uh, that's the vibe you're going with. Okay. It's super fast. But most of the time, um, I have my steady thing on just so I can control my movements better. And then whenever you draw, if you make something that you don't like, you want to go back, the left thumbstick you can, let's, lets you undo, redo, as you wish. So never be afraid to mess something up. So it would be cool if we did a part two of this video where you can send your questions in the comments and I can um, answer, you know, how would you do this or how do you use this tool in, in Modeler, uh, get into more you know, specific stuff, but uh, as a super basic intro to the tool, um, I think this was pretty useful just to get everyone started, I guess. Oh yeah, let me know in the comments if there's uh, anything you'd like to see covered. Uh, if I went too fast over something or um, there's a tool in particular that you're interested to see, like the, the stamps or you know, there's a bunch of stuff that I really want to cover that was pretty frustrating when I started to learn, like the, um, the scoping stuff. So I definitely might need a video on that. Oh yeah, let me know.